Nicole. Hopefully you are doing well. No, Jamie. Uh, he is at his squadron where he is stationed currently. And he won't be back until Friday. So we did get a long weekend um, because he took off for his birthday and my mom's 60th birthday. But then we didn't end up being able to make it to um, Las Vegas to celebrate my mom's birthday because of everything we had going on with the business and the new business, Mary's Diamonds and everything. So we just didn't end up making it and it was going to be a 12 and a half hour drive and I was in a ton of pain um, from a stressful week already and Jamie being gone. So long story short, we didn't end up making it. So we stayed here at home um, and did some things like we went to El Paso and um, went to Dave and Buster's. And then we uh, actually went out to dinner at a restaurant for like the first time in forever. Um, and what else did we do? Uh, we watched um, The Last of Us and we've caught up on all the episodes now. I think it was only six episodes. So if you're a binge watcher like me and want to watch more than one season, then don't watch it yet. I thought it was more than one season or more episodes, but it wasn't. So anyways, I'm here to do a whip and chat, which is a work in progress and chat, which this is my work in progress from Dreamer Designs. It is Shining Grace by, I'm going to mess the name up, by Romy Lerda. Totally probably messed that up. I'm very sorry. Um, it is a, oh, where does it say how big the kid is? Um, it's a 60 by 70 centimeter. And this was a gift from my best friend, Tanya, who I met through diamond painting, who now helps us with Mary's diamonds and does all the graphics. If you see those, um, and, um, she gifted this to me so I could do it for our event, Bell Arts DP Long. If you haven't heard of the event, it's going on for the rest of this month until April 6th, which would have been my best friend Summer's 28th birthday. Um, and so we'll be celebrating her birthday with the end of this event, which is why we do Bell Arts DP Long, um, is in memory of a loved one living or past, um, and it's pretty broad, like a lot of kits can count for it. So uh, join the Facebook group. I'll put it in the description down below. Um, there's still time to join, like two and a half weeks, give or take. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little like button to be notified of future videos. I just figured out after we've had this video for like, or this uh, setup for like a year and a half on how to flip the camera so that I can work upside down and still look like I'm working right side up, at least to me. I hope it works out right. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about being a military spouse, a little bit about working a business with your military spouse gone. So working our small business with him gone or businesses. Now I need to get to get, need to get used to the plural now. So businesses. And then I hadn't announced the 3000 YouTube subscriber giveaway, what we're going to do yet. So Jamie and I decided to do something. So you will see that in this video as well. Um, so make sure that you subscribe because that'll be part of it and definitely hit that like button. Um, it helps with those algorithms and things. And thank you for helping us reach 3,000 YouTube subscribers. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. doesn't cost you anything to hit that little like button. So please do so. That would be awesome. Um, I'm working with the Bella Hexagon pen. Um, Jamie created this to hold multi-placers. And then I ended up being able to use it as a pen. And so now that's what it is. And I've been using it for, gosh, like a year at least now if not more. Um, I put a single placer that I can push my drills around and then I have some of our 3D printed multi-placers in it um, and they are made of resin. We are working on making um, them with stronger resin and a little bit thicker. Um, so those will be coming out soon and then I'm working out of one of my large trays. Um, also, I forgot to give the Disclaimer, we have two dogs, two cats, two guinea pigs, and never fails that one or all of them are going to come say hi. And with me coming on video by myself, the dogs might go nuts and I have to pause it and go get them because no one else is here to get them. Um, and you might hear a printer because I have a printer going in the other room. I closed the door, but I can't close it all the way. Um, so you might hear that going on. And then the guinea pigs are behind me on the wall behind me and they make lots of noises in their cage. So um, just there's the little forewarning about that. Um, 
And then, so I'm working out of a large Belle Arts and Culture and then I'm using Jamie's latest uh, and greatest, because this thing is awesome, um, design that he created. So it's a Bella Caddy. It has a, yep, see, there they go. It has a, uh, it has, I like to keep the little AB that was there. There's like a round that got mixed in. So it has four magnets built into it here. And then we also send four magnets on the outside. And then it has where the trash drill container that comes with it can go right here, or it can go on that side. You have enough space to put, I don't have one with me. You have enough space to put a Elizabeth Ward storage container here. We made sure it was big enough. So if you're working on incline or just working out of your um, storage containers, then you can have it right there, easy access, trash drills, easy access, and whether you need to move it to, you know, be able to use the tray better. Um, and it works for both lefties and righties. Um, so this thing is freaking awesome because I don't have to hold it anymore, although you might see me hold it because that's like creature of <laughs> it, so I get used to it. But this sucker, like, it doesn't go anywhere. Like, you have to really push for it to go places because it's got all those magnets on there. Um, and then what else? I've got the 2023 diamond. This is our work in progress um, little frame that Jamie made. Um, and so if you have a work in progress or if you're just wanting someone to keep you company, then feel free to enjoy this video. And it's sliding down because <laughs> the light pads right here, if you could see it. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you've enjoyed the video or not, I guess. Just remember to be kind. Um, and then um, stay tuned for all the giveaway information. Um, so military spouse, I have been with Jamie since 2000, let me remember now, since 2010. Um, I met him, uh, we actually met on match.com, never would have met otherwise. And, um, we have now, we have been together. So in, in October, it'll be 11 years married and 10 years, uh, 12, no, hold on, 11 years married and 12 years together. I was going to go the other way. So 11 years married, 12 together. Um, and so I have been a military spouse since then. So since the end of 2010, so 13 years, give or take. Um, and uh, Jamie has been in the military for uh, almost 19 years. He's almost hitting his 19 year mark. And true to military fashion, we thought that we were safe, that we were going to be here till he retires, no big deal, then he could run the, help run the business, all that good stuff. And nope, they gave him military orders um, and told him that he would have to leave for two years. So he is stationed four and a half hours away. He was going to be stationed in Las Vegas, uh, not New Mexico, Las Vegas, Nevada, which is where we were stationed before and I met him. And that was going to be like a 12 and a half hour drive, um, give or take. And so thankfully we were able to get him uh, into Clovis. So that is only the four and a half ish hours away, depending on how you drive. Um, and, you know, Jamie was not planning on coming home on the weekends, but I am just so overwhelmed with everything that has to be done. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I have oh, my glue dots struggling a little bit. Um, I have fibromyalgia. I have chronic neck and back pain. I have uh, CRPS, especially in my right foot. I have Raynaud syndrome. I have, uh, what else? Uh, they're trying to figure out if I have an issue with my uh, veins because um, I've had a lot of vein surgeries and they're going to try to figure out, I'm seeing if I'm missing color, they're going to do a procedure um, in a couple, uh, like a week and a half, two weeks, um, to try to see if I um, have a problem where the nerve or the veins are being pinched by the um, spine. Uh, it's I think L5. I forget what it's called. And so they're going to check. They're going to like go in through my neck and go all the way down and see if I have the compressed issue. And if I do, then um, they can do a surgery where they put in a stint, I want to say. And that should help me not have to have so many um, vein procedures and vein problems anymore. So cross fingers that that's it and it's an easy fix 
because I don't know about you or anyone you know, but when you don't know what's wrong with you, that's like the absolute worst thing ever. And so it'd be nice to actually know what was going on and have an easy fix. So I don't know if I want it to be good or bad, but anyway, so I think I'd rather it be this and then that way I can move on and, you know, deal with all the other stuff. Um, I'm supposed to be having foot surgery at some point, but I keep pushing it off because we just have way too much going on. Um, so I have a lot of health issues. It's really hard for me to get up and moving in the morning. Then I've got the two dogs, two cats, and two guinea pigs to take care of and get them situated. Um, and then, you know, working the small business by myself uh, as far as like, I guess what uh, like owners would be. So I'm, you know, the one who's working by myself. We do have a team of employees um, because of the fact that I have so much health problems and we have enough orders that we can support people in the community. Um, so we have a couple people that work for us filling orders. Um, another employee that helps with social media because um, we have a lot of platforms, especially taking over Mary's Diamonds. We have even more. Um, and then, um, you know, just I have lots of doctor's appointments every week. And so, you know, it's just, I can't work it all the time. Um, and some days are just really bad where I can't do anything. Um, so, you know, unfortunately on those days, Jamie isn't here to try to, you know, help get me moving. I think I need to fill my wax. Um, you know, um, and take care of the house. You know, everyone has dishes and things and um, standing on my foot doing dishes is loads of fun. Um, and so, you know, no one here to help out with that. Um, and so it's just a lot with him moving and it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, we had some people in place that are, were at the office and, um, those, uh, changed. And so I was hoping that I would get more help. Um, I don't have a lot of friends locally. Um, I have people that I could call on if I need, but I don't have like friends that I talk to all the time that are local. All of my friends are mostly with diamond painting um, and, you know, friends across the country world with that. Um, so, you know, it's pretty lonely here. Um, and um, so it's it's not easy. So, you know, I was okay with the military. I was like, yay, we're going to be here. We're good. We're in a good place. And then, you know, in true military fashion, they just told him he was moving and there was nothing we could do about it. Um, so, you know, thankfully I don't have to worry about him being deployed right now. I have had to deal with many deployments. One of the deployments, I had no clue where he even was. He wasn't allowed to tell me where he was. Um, so that one was awful. Um, he's also, um, been to, he was at Qatar, I think, once. Um, I think we've done like four or five deployments um, since we were together. Um, and that includes, I guess, not really a deployment, but he actually got orders to move down here for four and a half months when he did his cross training um, right after we met. And so he was gone um, a few months after we met. Um, and then we were in Vegas after that. Um, so yeah, it's not easy being a military spouse. Um, you know, I don't have the squadron really here anymore because he's not attached to the squadron here. So I don't have, you know, things to do with the squadron. So it kind of makes me even more isolated. Um, I would be attached to, you know, the squadron and have the, you know, spouse group, um, if I was where he was stationed. Um, so that's kind of hard. Um, and then really all of the health stuff that I have going on. So running the small business and then adding the small business that we did um, at the end of last year that wasn't really in the plans at all um, has just been a lot. And so I've been, you know, more emotional, more worried about things, more, you know, easy to, you know, get upset about things. And, you know, so I'm trying to, you know, on Saturdays when we do our lives, I have to, you know, really make sure that I try to be as positive as possible because that's all people like to see. And so that's kind of hard because it's not always positive. Um, but hopefully we're getting people in place here that are going to help me just hire an office manager and she started today, but then she's gone for this weekend. So we'll just get a few days of training in before she leaves. Um, so it's a lot. 
Um, it's a lot to handle a brand new business trying to, we got a new supplier because we, you know, wanted to give the best diamond paintings possible because I'm going to be working on them and I wouldn't want to promote something that's not good. So, you know, tried new suppliers and we've got the supplier. Uh, we also did hand rendering on all our kits. So you won't see a bunch of confetti. Um, that happens when it's just computer generated. And so we paid for those out of pocket. Um, so we're deeply in the hole with Mary's Diamonds uh, with the investment and the previous owner was supposed to help us but he really hasn't been helpful at all. So uh, kind of just doing it on our own and we appreciate that everyone has been supportive and said that they want to purchase like it really means a lot to us um, and we want to offer you know the best that we possibly can so that is our goal. Um, so have to, it's, a, it's a little bit of a waiting game <laughs> and I'm not a patient person. Anyone who knows that I am not a patient person and I like just want you know to know what's going on and they're in China and they don't speak very good English so that's frustrating at times but we're working on it so um but yeah just being a small business owner is a lot especially right now because the economy is not great so please support your small business friends and you don't have to support us by uh, purchasing. All you have to do is you can share our post on Instagram, you can share our uh, post on TikTok because you should be able to like reshare. You can always like tag us and things, especially when you get your items. You know, you can post it to Facebook and things and, you know, promote us and whatnot. Um, so don't forget, like you don't have to spend money in order to support us or any small business. Um, just like subscribing and things to the videos doesn't cost you a thing. It doesn't cost you anything to share to your social media platforms. Um, so we would greatly appreciate your support um, because uh, today was Rainbow Day and we didn't quite get as many orders as I thought we would. Like we didn't sell out. So I don't know if people are just saving their money for something else. People already have a bunch of rainbow trays because we've done it before. Um, I'll actually show you the rainbow trays in a minute. I have them if people want to see what the different variations are. Um, there's a lot of different color variations. The colors that we send are random. Um, but yeah, so making business decisions, you know, I still run everything through Jamie. We make decisions together, but I'm mostly making the decision on the colors to release. I have to, you know, make sure that enough filament is ordered. I have to, you know, get the orders, uh, get the shipments and take them to the office and unload them and everything, which is a lot. So, uh, one of the employees has been coming here and helping me lift things cause I just can't. Um, so they've been helping with that. Um, and so that was nice when Jamie was around to be able to take the packages in and I didn't have to worry about it. So we're trying to see if we can have people there at the right times to get the packages delivered to the office that we have instead. Um, so it's all, you know, a work in progress and it's all super stressful and, you know, I'm doing the absolute best that I can, but I am, you know, human and I am, you know, a person. And so if you have an issue or anything, like let us know and we will do our best to fix it. Um, but please let us know in a polite way. That would be nice. Um, you know, and we always try to be innovative. Um, that is one thing that Jamie has been able to work on a little bit more being gone is being able to be innovative without having to deal with the day to day orders and stuff. But that's what I have to deal with. So day to day orders, day to day customer service, day to day training, day to day uh, deliveries, uh, labels, uh, social media, et cetera. So, you know, and handling employees and it's not easy managing people. I have an undergrad in mass in uh, marketing and finance and I have a master's in business administration, but that was from like 2009. So that was a while ago. So, you know, still learning how to be everyone's boss and not, you know, cause Jamie's not here to, you know, be that. And so that's a whole, you know, extra layer added on there. So, it's, it's been, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a work in progress and it's not always easy, but we definitely do the best that we can, um, to, you know, for ourselves and everyone else and, you know, to protect our livelihood because this is what Jamie will do when he retires is work for the business. Um, 
you know, we were talking about maybe he would still do something else part time, but do something that would still give him the time to work the business. And so that would be the goal. Um, you know, there's so many things that you can do with 3D printing, but A, you have to know what, it, you know, know what that hobby is. Like I know, you know, diamond painting. So if we were to get into crocheting, like I'd have to figure that out. And I don't really want to figure that out. <laughs> or, you know, find people that knew crochet. Um, and then if we want to get into like tiny miniature things, then we would have to, you know, figure out what to do with that. So, you know, we can go into different um, areas, I guess. Um, but right now, you know, we're on diamond painting. It's something that I know, something that I can do. Um, and so that's our main focus. And then Mary's diamonds. So I don't know where I was going with, with half of that. Uh, part of fibromyalgia is not remembering what I was talking about. So hopefully I've been rambling too bad. Um, I will show you the trees. And if you're listening right now, um, if you subscribe to our video or subscribe to our YouTube, if you go and like 10 of our videos and if you send a screenshot that you have liked 10 of our videos and that you are subscribed to our YouTube and you send that to sales at bellaartdaynicole.com, again that's sales at bellaartdaynicole.com, then I will respond within 24 to 48 hours with a coupon code for 10% off bellaartdaynicole.com. So that's something we haven't really done in a minute or a while. Uh, like the whole store. Um, so you can get one of these awesome Bella Caddies. You can get yourself a Bella tool if you've been looking. You can get yourself a tower or a tower cover, cover minders, etc. And you could also get these really awesome trees that are here right now. Sorry, that was really loud. So first we have this Alpine green sparkle. Oh, <laughs> look at that sparkle. So you can see all kinds of sparkles. So we have it in our max tray, which is our biggest tray. That's why we call it the max. We've been calling it the max for about a year and a half, two years now, um, to where it's the max that you can fit on the build plate. And that's why we call it max. Um, then we have the three divider tray in the Alpine sparkle. Uh, this means that you can put three colors in here. There are removable dividers. So you can put two colors or one color. Um, if you want just a long tray, then we have the Thingiverse tray, which is a free file that was heavily modified by Jamie. Um, we actually have this available if you want to uh, print it for yourself, but not um, print them for commercial use. Um, and the lid just sits on the top with this. Um, and then we've got the... Uh, where's my other trays? So we've got the large tray, which is what I'm working out of. And we actually, if you haven't seen them yet, we have new notches and uh, grooves that the lid slides into so it holds it on uh, even a little bit better. So we've got the large tray. And then you can also buy the small tray by itself. So it also has the little grooves in there. We are phasing the, the little notches in on all the trays except for the Thingiverse tray because um, it just has a lid that sits on top. So we are phasing them in, but most everything that comes in this color would definitely have it. Um, then we've got our essential tray that is translucent. It's that translucent neon pink that we had recently. It's showing a little bit darker here. Um, what else do I got? Oh, if you want a tiny tray, and cube cover minder, we have those in the Alpine Green. I think we have them available where you can purchase in like this color too. Um, and then we have our 2.0 trays, which we brought back after popular demand. We used to sit here and have to clean out because we had to clean out right here in the spout um, and underneath. And we used to have to clean it out like crazy and we would get tar carpal tunnel syndrome from it. So we decided to not do these anymore um, because we moved to a better version of the uh, 3.0 version, but there's a lot of people who still like the 2.0 version and um, they were asking if we could bring it back. So Jamie was able to figure out a way to um, have it where it doesn't have as much overhang and we don't have to clean as much. So we do still have to clean in here and some under here. I think you might be able to see the little piece of filament. I don't know where the camera is. A <laughs> little piece of filament under there. And then again, it has a little notch and groove. So that goes on there. So we have it in the fire engine red small and large and then we also have it in the ocean blue small and large so oh no that's it that's an alpine green color <laughs> i know my colors and then this is the so the small tray and the large tray in ocean blue so we have those listed right now um and then oh man how am i gonna get to all these we have uh 
We have rainbow trays and we have them. Oh, it needs to go on. So we have them in the three divider tray and there's a couple different color variations here. There's one, two, three, four, five, although one of those kind of looks the same. So maybe like four or so, um, for example. Uh, then I've got some Thingiverse trays here. So these are some examples of the rainbow. And if you order more than one variation, then if you order like more than one of these, then we'll do our best to send different colors. If you order like two of these and two of these, again, we will do our best to send different colors. Um, and then we have the Max tray, if I don't dump them all out. So we have the Max tray and a bunch of different variations. And then we have the tray sets in a few different variations. So, and the uh, rainbow is silk. Um, so it, uh, people say that silk slides around a lot more. Um, so they really like silk sometimes. So there is, uh, the rainbow is silk. Let me put all this away without dumping it all out. Um, so that is the colors that we listed today. Um, so they will be up there until they sell out. So if they don't sell out uh, by next Tuesday, we're start, we're trying something new and leaving colors up there for you guys to purchase. Number four. Okay. Uh, leaving them up there for you guys to purchase. So um, until they sell, until we run out of filament that we earmarked for the trays and maybe we might move on to using them for towers or things. We do use the rainbow for towers already. Um, but anyways, that it'll be up there at least for another week with whatever is currently still listed. So we do have a couple of extra colors that way. Uh, we just started this like two weeks ago. So we normally do true two tray colors at a time. And so we have uh, a couple weeks of it built up. And that's how um, we have, hold on, Jamie. Is it this Jamie? Um, do, do, do. Um, so what was I talking about? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Y'all help me, but you can't cause this is just a whipping chat. So you can only really talk, uh, you can only really tell me in the comments if I was totally talking about something that was important and just forgot. Um, but anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, I think it was probably about like the couple weeks that we've had uh, colors listed and so we're taking them down as they sell out. Um, and so those are available on the website. Um, we have towers, we have tower covers, we have this handy dandy Bella Caddy, which the great thing about this caddy is that it goes with the large tray. You can also put two smalls here. So here's one small and here's another small. So you can put two smalls in here. Um, and um, Jamie's working on one that would work for the three divider tray. And then you could basically put the three divider tray or you could do three smalls or you could do a large and a small um, in it. And so he's working on that, but it takes him a minute to be able to do that. Let me put these back in the right area. Um, so... Yeah, this is great because it goes with, it just goes with the tray. Like it doesn't, it's not just stuck with the tray. You can use it at any time. So that's the awesome thing about this. And then I just kind of let, will like move it from here to there, which there's the magnets. So I just kind of like move it back and forth to wherever I need to work on it. And the magnets are there. Although here's a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of, the you know, it definitely sticks through here. Someone even said it went through their uh, light pad their light pad. So I was like, Oh, interesting. Um, so don't quote me on that. I don't know what size light pad or anything like that. Uh, but she said that it went through her light pad and she's been working on it like that. So, um, I just work on it through the canvas and I'm just kind of careful to kind of move it along so that it will stay on um, with all the magnets or I just move the magnets around. So this has been freaking awesome to just be able to put the trash drill containers there when I need to. Uh, where's the three? And so let's see, I got like some trash here. So then I just kind of go like here. That was an extra piece of trash. Uh, go like that. What do I got here? I got any other trash around here? Do, do, do. I guess these ones are pretty good. Oh, here's some trash. So you just, oh, there's guinea pigs going. I don't know if y'all heard them. So, you know, you just kind of like scoop it off that way. So it's definitely comes in really handy. I don't know what they're doing back there. They're knocking their food bowls over. 
I'm making all kinds of noise. Um, so yeah, it's not be easy being a small business owner. It's not easy being a small business owner that has health issues. It's not easy being a small business owner when your spouse is in the military. And it's really not easy to be a small business owner when your spouse is in the military and four and a half-ish hours away from you. So it's definitely a day-to-day get-me-through-till-Friday when he's home kind of thing. Um, and then he helps out around the house and, you know, helps with the animals. Uh, in the mornings and stuff like that so that's really nice when he's here but then we also just you know have to just fix printers or um, different things when he's here so you know that um, that takes up some of our time together but we're gonna try to spend uh, you know more time at least doing something and not business related while he's here to get to enjoy a little bit of the weekend um, but we absolutely love if you've ever watched our Saturday lives aka Saturday shenanigans we have a lot of fun on there love visiting everyone we never know what we're gonna talk about what we're gonna say except for like show the new colors for the next week but otherwise like we never know what we're gonna talk about um, and we do giveaways and things um, on our lives and you have to you know watch the replay or watch it live and then claim your prize um, so we do those um, I don't think we have any active open ones right now um, but yeah so you know we enjoy YouTube for being able to connect with all you guys and our customers and things um, and the community and um, yeah so I think that's about it because I feel like there's a printer that probably needs my attention. There's probably definitely a dog or a guinea pig or something that needs my attention. And also my feet are kind of, I can feel them swelling even though I have compression socks on because I have my legs down. So I need to go put my feet up. Um, but anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this whip and chat. Um, don't forget to watch the whole video for special announcement. Um, and uh, don't talk about it in the comments. If you have a question, then you can send us an email to sales at bellaartandnicole.com. But don't put it in the comments below to alert people to anything. Um, and I think that is about it. My phone is blowing up as well. Uh, I think that's the Chinese people because they're awake right now. Uh, so they're helping with the Mary's Diamonds. So I'm going to hop off here, uh, start uploading the video. Hopefully it'll load tonight um, and then you'll be able to see it. Um, and I'm going to say that the uh, coupon code is going to work through um, Sunday. So it's only going to be through Sunday. What is the date? Do, do, do. Sunday the 19th. So make sure that you send us the information before then. And um, yeah. So I think that is about it. Thank you for watching the whip and chat. I forgot to say that a whip and chat is like work in progress and chat with you guys. So hopefully you gathered that that's what that was. Um, and hopefully you have enjoyed um, this little time together. So I am definitely going to hop off here now and quit saying that I'm going to hop off here. So thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your week and we will see you on Saturday live at 1.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Savings Time since Daylight Savings Time just happened. That's been ugh, so hard to get used to. But anyways, hopefully you are doing well. Hopefully you have a great rest of your weekend and that we see you on Saturday. And until then, we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.